Thanks, Ayuk. Hey, guys. Um, how are you all? Had lunch? <laughs> That's nice. So, um, my first slide. That's me. Uh, a few years back, actually, a couple of years back, uh, when I when I was doing technical support, uh, when I actually started doing technical support, uh, I definitely didn't use WPCLI at that point. I even didn't know what what WPCLI is. But today, I uh, I'm here to you know speak about it because. Uh, I think that everyone should be using that. So if you don't know uh, what WPCLI is or what WPCLI beast is, don't worry. We are going to talk about it, and you will know. Um, before we know about it, uh, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Aditya Shah, and I'm a software engineer. Uh, I currently manage the hosting support team at WPMU Dev. Uh, we make plugins for WordPress, as well as hosting. Um, I'm also the founder, or you can say the meetup organizer for WordPress Bhopal community. And uh, I'm working with WordPress for more than 10 years now. Um, that's all about me. So we can just proceed with WPCLI, because like we have got a limited time. Right? So some questions, like what WPCLI is. Um, why WPCLI? Who this is for? Like, who can use it? And what would you need to, you know, use WPCLI? Um, let's start then. So, what is WPCLI? It's a command line tool to, uh, to you know, use WordPress by utilizing the command line or the terminal uh, that you have in your laptop or your computers. Uh, right? For example, um, for example, like you want to bulk update a lot of posts, so you can just uh, write a simple command, and you can update all of the posts. Or you want to install plugins, you can just write a single command, and the plugin will be installed for you. So we'll see what, how, why, and everything. So why WPCLI? First reason is, when you want to migrate a site, you can make you a uh, good utilization of WPCLI. Uh, like there are a couple of things. For example, like when you want to migrate a site, you want to transfer all of the files, then you want to transfer the database. So WPCLI makes it very easy because like you have got um, you have got like the SSH access normally. And you can just zip the files and export the database and like uh, transfer it directly, right? So when it comes to transferring files and database, you can like do it without WPCLI as well. But then uh, it's tough because you need to learn a lot of Linux things. For example, MySQL and then uh, different different things, right? So when it comes to WPCLI, you can use a simple command like WPDB export, which will export the database for you. And then you can zip the files and just transfer it somewhere like with, with a WGET and like install it with WPDB import. So that's how you can just quickly migrate a site, right? Second is, uh, second reason is performing fewer Steps like, for example, uh, when we were talking about migration, uh, when we used to migrate a site previously, uh, we have to use uh, a file manager or like a SSH for for zipping the files, and then we had to go to phpMyAdmin to export the database, and then we had to transfer and import, like going to different steps to open those uh, applications. But when it comes to WPCLI, you can just do like three commands and like you are done. So it takes fewer steps. Uh, I'll also give some more examples of how you, how it takes fewer uh, steps. Uh, next one is gives it, it actually gives better control of what you can do. Um, we can talk about it again uh, later on. Uh, then it comes to background jobs. Uh, so for example, you wanna. You want to do some uh, some sort of activity. For example, you want to compress images. 
on your website. Uh, it actually requires you to go to the UI and then uh, uh, then turn turn on the optimizations, and you have to stick to that page or something like that. Uh, but when it comes to WPCLI, you can just run a command in screen, and then forget about it, and it will just run in the background, and that's done, right? So uh, next thing, next thing, who this is for? What are you guys? Some might be developers. Some might be engineers, some might be support engineers, some might be server administrators, um, or you might be a site administrator. You just have a single site, right? So uh, when it comes to support engineers, uh, it reduces a uh, number of steps. Uh, for example, uh, again, like a customer comes, customer comes to you, ask, like, can you export the database for me? Instead of asking them for access of their hosting site or like uh, then navigating, because like every host has a different host, right? So you have to search for that specific setting uh, where how you can open PHP MyAdmin or you, how you can establish connection to access their database. Uh, you can just ask for SSH access, go to their, uh, like log into SSH and run a WPDB export, and that's it. Um, so that's how support engineers do things. Uh, then it comes to server administrators. Um, so it is helpful because you can perform a, a lot of activities. Uh, for example, you have got a website where it is infected with malwares, and you want to do uh, multiple steps like you want to replace the WordPress core. You want to replace all of the files that are uh, plugins. You want to replace all of the themes. You want to replace, uh, or you want to like delete all of the extra files that are that might be there. So what you can do is you can make a bash script, and you write all of the uh, all of the commands there in the bash script, and run that bash script. So it will do automatically. Uh, it will automatically do all of the things for you. So that's how things are done by server administrators because, like, uh, they know Bash, but like server site administrator or like normal people don't know that. So yeah, that's how the uh, they can be benefited with, from it. Next is site administrators. Like, I have got single site. What I can do about it? Like, how can WPCLI benefit me? So uh, remember, anyone remembers? Uh, you might have forgotten your WP admin username and password. Yep. So, or maybe just password or anything. So what you can do is SSH into the server, run a simple command like WP user list. It will list down all of the users. So that way you know who is the administrator, who is the editor. So you remember like this is my username. Now. When you forgot your password, you had to go to PHP My Admin, uh, go to the users table, and then change the password from there. So instead of learning all of these steps, you can run a simple command: wp user update. Uh, then you can give the parameters like uh, to to change the new password, uh, just specify new password, and that's changed for you. And then you can just log in with that username and that password. So that's how you can be benefit out, uh, out of this WPCLI. There are plenty of examples, but I don't think that we can really cover all of them here. So that's one. And I think that's that. <laughs> no. Um, so let's get started. Like uh, When you say like you don't know or you want to start with WPCLI, um, you just have to install WPCLI on your uh, server or your computer when you want to use it. So what it requires, it requires Unix Lite environment, or Linux, or Windows, or whatever. Um, well, uh, and it requires WordPress, it requires PHP. Uh, well, there are basically just single command that you can find on the wpcli.org. Just one single w get command, and as soon as you copy and paste that command in the in your command line, it will just get installed. That's that. You don't need to do anything else. It's that easy. Now, 
uh, talking about how to run commands. Like, I have installed the WP CLI, now, now what? So every WP CLI command starts with WP as the keyword. Then the command comes. For example, uh, I said WP user list. So WP is WP CLI. And then the command user is the command. Then there is subcommand. So I said WP user list. So I want to list all of the users. So command is the user. And list is the subcommand. Now, this should be listing all of, the, uh, all of the users, right? But then I might want to specific, specify some more parameters to it. For example, uh, I want to list down only the administrators. So what I'll do is wp user list hyphen hyphen uh, type equals to administrator. So similarly, like this is how the, uh, the commands work. Next one. Uh, so, like I was telling you about parameters, parameters, and values. So, uh, parameters, uh, when it comes to commands, subcommands, and parameters, so parameters are required. Uh, then I, I said, like, hyphen, hyphen thing. So, when it, when it comes to uh, you want to know only the administrators or the editors, that is optional, like, if you want to specify things or not. Then it comes to some parameters might require values. For example, if you want to, um, if you want to uh, change the password, then it, you might need to specify the password that I want this specific password. So that might be with value or without values. Um, now we are talking about WP Core. Like you want to re-download WP Core, or you want to just download WP Core. So you can do it with WP Core download. Again, there are some more parameters to it, WP Core download, then you just want to skip all of the themes and plugins that comes with WP Core. So you can specify hyphen hyphen and skip hyphen content. So it will download just the WP Core without the themes and plugins. That's how the core commands work. Then it comes to database commands. Uh, those might be WPDB export, like I said, and you can specify the database, uh, like the export file name. Then similarly, we have the import command, wpdb import, and specify which file you have to import. So that's wpdb import and the file name. So it will just import all, the whole database. And then uh, there's, a, there's a tool called MySQL, right? So if you want to run any MySQL commands directly into the WP CLI, you can use wpdb CLI. It will open the MySQL console. And you can run the actual MySQL commands over there. Um, then there's a search and replace thing. Uh, so uh, ever encountered a uh, thing like you want to change your, the domain of your site? So like, for example, my site was adityashah.com, and I want to change it to aditya.me. So what I'll do is I'll run a search and replace command. So wp, because wp, uh, search have and replace. OK. Uh, I'll just do it quickly. Can you give him one moment? Uh, OK. So search replace is like uh, just specify the original URL and the, and the destination URL, like Aditya Shah and then Aditya.me. And it will just do the search and replace for me. Uh, I guess we don't have time, so I'll just skip post media and create users for now. Um, but I can talk about this and just quickly. So I was telling you about bash command. So we can write bash scripts uh, to specify what all actions I need. Similarly, we can write uh, these loops in, in bash. Uh, I can specify like how many times I want to iterate a single command, and then it can do things for me. Like for example, if I if I uh, see if you see this one, it will specify the site list. For example, if you have multi multi site, you can specify all of the multi site. Uh, like subsites, for example, like I, I don't think that there's an exp example, but like if you have a multi site and you have hundreds of sites, you can specify that uh, this for loop and it will list down all of the subsite uh, URLs. And um, well, uh, the WP post list URL is this format count. So, for example, I want to count all of the number of uh, subsites, so it can just count the number of subsites and it will just give the number. Uh, 
questions, I don't think we have time, but if you have any questions, I will be outside and we can talk about it. And let's connect. Um, I think. Thank you. Ditya.